everyone and welcome back to Human Resource Machine. I had a ton of fun the first time I played this game, so I wanted to come back and make a second video on it. Um, we're currently at Sub Hallway and Tetra Contiplier. I think I might have went in the wrong order last time or something because there were people getting mad at me in the comments for not going through the right floors or something. But there's two paths, right? The way it works is you go 8, 10, and 12 on one path and 7, 9, and 11. So you can still go in order of like uh floors because that's what it is right it's the amount of floors that you're on like you're on floor seven then eight something along those lines point is today we're gonna do sub hallway first and then we'll do the tetra contiplier and then we just have one path again and then it branches off again and it's probably gonna get super hard today because it was pretty easy last time but it was starting to get up to the point where you had to think a little bit more let's find out here we go sub hallway year 11. that's a long time to be at a company man holy shit subtraction that's what sub means oh shit okay I never learned that in school, did you? <laughs> We're a good team. Yes, we are. The guy who doesn't know how to subtract things. That's just who you want on your team. For each two things in the inbox, first subtract the first from the second and put the result in the outbox. And then subtract the second from the first and put that result in the outbox and repeat. Oh, God. Okay, let's try this one because I'm kind of confused. One goes down, then the eight goes down. And then you take one and subtract it from eight. Yes, not enough stuff in the outbox. I get it. I didn't even bring it to the outbox yet. Just, just shut up, okay? I think I understand it now. Let's go back. So that worked, okay? Once you have an eight, if you subtract the one, it's going to actually take the one off the eight. That's the first one off the second one, which is what we need to do, and then we need to flip it. All right, let's do it. All right, we got ten commands here now. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. It should, it should do fine in the first part. The four is going to go down. Then the 8, and then the 4 is going to be subtracted from the 8. That's going to go over here. And now the, the 8 needs to be subtracted from the 4. There you go. Minus 4. And we did it. Man, oh man. So I think the same thing should happen again now, and we should be good. Let's speed it up. All right. So you see, each time you get a um, you get opposite numbers, you get a negative and a positive. That's the way subtraction works, in case you didn't already know. We got the size challenge complete. All right. 10 or fewer, so that was the best it could be. And speed challenge at 40. So now we're going to go to floor number 12, the Tetra Contiplier. I don't know what that's going to mean. What's a Tetra Contiplier? Just a tripler. Tripler is pretty easy. That's where you triple something. Octiplier, you multiply it by 8. Tetra Contiplier. Tetra means 4. Conta means I don't know what. What a wonderful feeling when all your work over the last few years all comes together and culminates in a well-executed assignment. Whoa. Do you hear that music? Wow, shit! That's good music, man. For each thing in the inbox, multiply it by 40 and put that result in the outbox. Oh, Tetra Kanta! So the Tetra means 4 and Kanta must mean 10 or something along those lines. I don't know how all those little, like, prefixes work. There's so many different, like, um, words for things. So I think what we need to do for this one, guys, is we need to copy it to 0 and 1. And then we need to do a certain amount of multiplication and then add the last one in again after. Something along those lines. Alright, I'll, tr I'll try that. I'll try that. Okay, hang on a second, guys. So what we need to do is we need to add an 8 in at the end. Because once we, uh, once we keep combining, we're going to end up with 32 if we do it this way. Because when you double it, you're going to get, you know, 32. We need to get to 40. So we need to add an 8 in there. So uh, before we actually do step 10, we're going to need to take, um, we're gonna need to take our 8 and copy it to 1. I don't know what the number is going to be right now. I guess 16 is the one you have to copy because of the fact that it's 2 here. Combine that together. Uh, combine it together one more time. And then add the 16. No! What are you doing? I don't know if that was right. Yeah, that was not right. Okay, let's try this. It's really hard for me to visualize this now, guys, because it's not 1s anymore. I'm doing it with 5s, so it's kind of confusing. But that one goes down there. It's 8 times the number. Then we combine it together a few more times, and then we add that one to it. And then we bring it over here. And that's 40. 5 times 40 is 200, right? Oh, it actually worked! Ooh, I'm not even sure exactly what happened there. I'm not, I can't follow this at the moment, but I know that it is working. And that's all that matters. Let's fast forward. Watch this. I don't even know if those numbers are right. It's not telling me, but it would tell me if it's wrong, right? It would probably, it would probably cut me off and be like, mm, bro, that ain't working. Yay! I did it! Use 14 or fewer commands. I had to use 17 on that one, man. Darn. But I actually, I actually, um... I saw one part there where he laid it down twice or something like that when he shouldn't have. But it's not a big deal. We're going to keep going, okay? I don't want to spend too much time trying to rack my brain over how to do, do these, like, just right. Let's just move on to the equalization room. 
I don't like that. I don't like that word. Equalization. It's gonna it's gonna involve some sort of thing I've never done before, and I don't want it. Oh look, we got scientists here. Wow. Okay. Sometimes some numbers are bigger than others, and sometimes they are the same. How can we know? I read about that here in this great book. Which number are you for the aspirational zero? You can borrow it later. Well, okay, so this is much more complicated now, I guess. No, there's an add and subtract in this thing. What the hell is this thing? Oh, Jesus. Okay, get two things from the inbox. If they are equal, put one of them in the outbox. Discard non-equal pairs. Repeat. You got comments. You can use them if you like to mark sections of your program. Oh, that's what people do in real programming. You, you write comments down, and then when someone else is looking at your programming, they can see exactly what you did where. And if you don't have comments in your programming, like, it can get really shitty if someone else is looking at it. Um, I've just read, like, tweets and things from, like, developers who say that. I don't really know firsthand because I've never done programming before. Until now, because this game teaches you how to program, sort of. Woo! I know how to do this, guys. I know how to do this. So if they're equal, put one of them in the outbox. So all you gotta do is subtract them from each other. No. Yes. Oh, if it's zero, you can jump past a second jump. So then you take a jump back to the first. But if it's zero, you pass that jump. And then you copy from the, in the, the beginning one here, zero. And then you can outbox it. So this is a little bit weird here because what you gotta do is you gotta say, you gotta jump if it's not zero. But how do you jump if it's not zero? Well, you jump if it's zero, and then the other jump goes back. Because the not zero jump needs to go back to the first again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that works. That works for me. Let's try it out. So you can take a five and a seven. They're gonna subtract. They're not gonna be a zero, obviously. So when he gets that answer, he's gonna be like, eh, throw that away and try again. Now the six is gonna go down, and then he's gonna subtract those. It's gonna be zero, so he's gonna take that six then, and he's gonna bring it to the outbox. But it's not enough stuff in the outbox yet. That's why we got to do a second jump here, all the way back to the first. Ha ha! I got that! I figured that out! Okay! All right, let's see what you got. It's a three in there, and then we're gonna put a two in there as well, right? Yep. It's done. Wipe that brow, buddy. I saw you wiping that brow. It was hard work. It was hard work for you to sit down and watch that. But look at that! I got the size challenge, and... I didn't get the speed challenge. Okay. You know, I really wanted to sit here and think about this so I could maybe figure out what I gotta do to get that step down by one, but it's not coming to me right now, so I think we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back and we're gonna move on to the maximization room! Uh, that's where you make things bigger. Probably. There's been a change of plans! The accounting department has determined that treating all numbers equally is no longer profitable. Management wants the big numbers only. Hmm, so now we get a jump if negative. The way that works is you lay it down. If it's a negative number, you take uh, one of the numbers. So you're going to have to put them both there now because you don't know which one you're going to have to take this time. Okay, grab two things from the inbox. Put only the bigger of the two in the outbox. If they're equal, just pick either one and repeat. Hmm, because if it's not negative, it could be zero or a positive number. Okay. Honestly, guys, this is a huge workout for the brain. You really got to think about every single detail here. And um, for me, personally, what I like to do is just visualize stuff in my head. But a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people need to actually see things written down or visualize before they can understand it. So for me now, I'm thinking if you take it from the inbox, put two of them down, subtract one. If it's negative, it means the zero is bigger. So we're going to jump down and we're going to bring the, uh, the zero position one to the outbox. And if not, we're going to grab the second one. So if it's zero... Or if it's a positive number, either way, we're going to grab the second one. Because that means that we can choose either. So let's give that a try and see what happens here. Two lays down, the four lays down. Then he's going to do four minus two. What, what are you doing? What did, what did you do? Oh, hang on a second. I'm supposed to go back to the inbox before I copy again. Okay, okay. The nine goes there, then the four goes there, and then we do the other stuff. So four right there. And then we do four minus nine. It's negative. We're going to take the nine and bring it over. That works fine. So let's see if that works the same way if it's um, if it's a bigger number and a smaller number in opposite positions. I think this is the same thing again, right? Nope. No, there you go. So that's what happens in the opposite, and this is what happens if they're equal. You can see how they're set up to do all three of those things at the same time. If they're equal, we'll just go ahead and just grab the six. It doesn't matter. And boom. And then we just have one more to do. Okay, cool. Speed it up. And we did it. Let's see what kind of score we got on that. The maximization room complete! I used 13 steps on that one. I cannot be asked to try and figure out how to do that shorter. It probably has something to do with the kind of jumps that I used here because, you know, 
I did use it a lot of jumps going back and forth. And maybe you don't have to do that. Maybe you could use less of them. I don't know. So now we're moving on to employee morale insertion. I don't, that sounds kind of dirty to me. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but sure, go ahead and insert. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and that, ladies, is how I saved a bundle on my long distance telephone service. <laughs> <laughs> Bad stuff is happening. Oh, it's just a horn that says go back to work. That's kind of creepy. Why would you have a horn so loud saying TV time? A massive army of machines has surrounded the city. The machines are not moving and they are not communicating. Local authorities are investigating. That's not good. That's not good at all. Also, I just want to point out one thing, guys. I didn't really think about it before, but this is the first time you see the people of Little Inferno actually talk. Because there is no dialogue, I don't think, in uh, Little Inferno. Everything is done with text, but now you get to hear people as well. And some people have been saying, is this game in the same, uh, same world as Little Inferno? Is it like a sequel to the game or a prequel? Is this what happened, which actually made everything get really cold? We'll find out. Perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go with absolute positivity and then we'll do exclusive lounge and that will probably be enough for today. Ha ha! Positive attitudes were determined to increase productivity and are now therefore mandatory. So be happy! Smile! Management is watching. Send each thing from the inbox to the outbox, but if a number is negative, first remove its negative sign. Mmm. Okay. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. So in that case, we're actually going to have to, um, we're going to have to have a special set of circumstances where you need to subtract the number from itself a couple times. Yeah. So if it's negative, you're going to need to take the number, lay it down, subtract it twice, and then put it over into the box. Ah, so inbox to the outbox, but if it's negative, we need to do a different step. Okay, so right now the code says that you're going to take an inbox number, you're going to skip it if it's negative, and if it's positive, you're going to bring it to the outbox. So now we need to make our own little set of instructions for how to make a number that's negative go to positive. And all we got to do for that is just take it, uh, we're going to copy it to, it needs to go right here. So copy to zero, and then we're going to do a subtract twice on it. Sub, zero, sub, zero and then outbox it, and then come back to the first. So watch this, watch the magic happen. It's a positive number, boom, put it in the outbox. If it's a negative number, we're gonna turn that into a positive number. Watch this, zero, one. All of a sudden, you got absolute positivity, woohoo! And it's funny because they actually told people that they had to be positive at work, which is kind of funny, because it's a play on the fact that we're doing absolute positivity right now, ha 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 ha, so funny, so funny. Look at that, got ourselves a three. And then we're gonna get a six, and we're gonna get a nine. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Here we go. Let's see how our size challenge did. Nine? What do you mean nine? Go to hell. And now we move on to the exclusive lounge. Yes, I've always felt most comfortable with nice, cold, logical decisions. Emotional decisions are for the weak. Okay, so this has something to do with um, uh, taking away ones and zeros from things. So this must be uh, a little bit different. Send a zero to the outbox if they have the same sign. Both positive or both negative. Wait, what? Oh, so this time we're not actually going with the numbers themselves. We just need to copy one or the other depending on what these numbers are. Okay. All right, guys. I've been sitting here for like five minutes completely confused about how to do this. And then I realized that I don't need to use any add or subtract commands for this. All I got to do is do jumps. If it's negative, I just got to do a jump. If it's positive, I keep going. So you grab a positive, check and see if it's uh, the next one is positive, And if it is... Then you just grab a zero or a one and do the opposite if it's negative. Let's see if we can get this to work. All right, guys, I'm going to try and explain this step by step um, just so you guys can kind of understand where I'm coming from with this. This is what would happen if they were all positive, okay? So if you had two positives, it's going to go inbox, inbox, and it's just verifying that they're positive. Then you're going to copy from four and go to the outbox. And the same thing has to happen if it's negative. So in that case, we got to do an inbox, jump if it's negative down here, do the same thing again. This one kind of hurt my brain, guys, but I managed to get it. It's just one of those ones that's really long because you have four different scenarios. You can have positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, negative, or negative, positive. And if you actually trace each one of these out here, um, you'll find that each of them goes to a different result. Um, so let's just see what happens if we play this now, okay? We're going to go positive, positive first. 
So, what the hell did you just do? Oh, okay, it worked. Wait, what are you? No, no, stop. That was bad. That didn't work at all. <laughs> There's a mistake in my code somewhere, guys, and I need to find it. All right, let's do this again. I'm going to go step by step. So, we're going to grab a four. Okay, we got ourselves a four. Now, since it's a four, it's going to hop down, and we are going to grab again at the inbox. And if it's negative, then we're going to copy a five. And if it's positive, we're going to copy a zero. That means it's either equal or it's different. So since it's negative, we're actually then going to go to this step right here, copy from five and say, hey, those two are different. Go to the out box. Let's restart. This time, same thing's going to happen. We're going to go to, we're going to, go to a, a one after we look at these because they're opposites. This one is the same, negative and negative. So with a negative and negative, we're going to go over there and we're going to go to zero. And then with a positive and positive, we're also going to do a zero. Four, you throw that away and grab your one. You bring it over. All is well. We did it. Really confusing, guys. My brain is starting to hurt playing this game, okay? Uh, when I, I think it took me like 15 minutes to get this one, I'm pretty sure. And I could have done this differently. Hang on a second. Could I have done it differently? Because I got the speed challenge, but I didn't get the size challenge here. So, hmm. I'm not really sure what that means. I really don't feel like going back and trying to do that now. Whatever that is... It is. I'm actually gonna end this video here, guys. We could go on and look at the new coffee one, but why not just leave that as a surprise in case we end up doing another episode? I don't know if we will. If you want to see another episode on this game, go ahead and leave a like down below. And this is where we're gonna end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.